Hi Cancer, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm here to do your reading for March 2020. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. So this is going to be a general reading. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what's coming in for you, Cancer, in different areas of your life here. So I'll let you guys kind of know what I'm doing as I go along. So of course it's not going to resonate with everybody, so please just take what resonates with you. And if it doesn't feel you know, like it's your story or that it fits, then just don't take it, okay? Don't try to confuse yourselves. Okay, so Spirit, let's get some messages, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the month of March 2020. What energies do we have coming through for Cancers? So I'm not going to be having uh, an extended version for the first half of the month here. I'm actually going on a trip this weekend and I have not been feeling uh, too well. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm trying to preserve my energy and my voice here. And so I wanted to get these out though before I left. So it's just gonna be this version. Okay, so let's take a look here. So Cancer, what do we have going on for you? So I'm breaking these down into earth, water, air, fire, spirit. And so for the earth, it's going to be your material world, your abundance, money, uh, finances, family, okay? And then for water, it's going to be your emotions this month and also with love. So we're going to be emotionally and with love. And then for air, is going to be your communication with other people, um, anybody that could be communicating with you directly or just, you know, dealings with other people. And then the fire will be your actions this month, where you're going. And then spirit will be, of course, your spiritual growth. All right. So let's get some opening messages here for Cancer. What do we have for the month of March for Cancers? What's coming in for Cancers in the month of March? Where's the focus going to be for you, Cancer? quick. <laughs> Cancer, the month of March. Okay, so we have ask with sincerity, and we have have faith, and then we have imagine solutions at the bottom with correct your mistakes beneath that. So a lot of you, you could be asking the universe for something. You could be trying to manifest something is what I'm getting here. And I'm feeling like you definitely are going to be imagining the solutions here, but you have to have faith. I feel like the universe is showing you some signs of maybe what's coming in for you or what you need to know right now. And this could be that you feel maybe like you are have done something or you've made a mistake or this could be for some of you um, and you're trying to mend something or you're trying to come to terms with something here. And I do think that with the have faith and ask with sincerity, I get that, that there's like a lot of support from the universe is what I'm feeling here. So whatever you're trying to have or whatever you're trying to manifest here, I feel like things are supported for you, but they're happening for a divine uh, reason right now or they're happening for the, for the, at the right time. And we actually do have the Knight of Coins here at the bottom. So the Knight of Coins is a very slow moving energy. So some of you could be doing things very slowly right now. Things could be moving ahead for you very slowly. Um, you could have gone through a change recently here or had to go through cutting something off out of your life. Um, and I do get that you're going to be sort of just moving ahead at a pace that is what the universe is kind of putting into your life for, the, for, the, for that reason. So let's get a tarot here for the theme for you in the month of March, Cancer. Cancers, what is the theme for you, Cancer, in the month of March? What is going to be the theme for Cancer in the month of March? Three of Cups. Okay, so Three of Cups and we have the Chariot here at the bottom. So some of you could be getting out there and socializing. This could be something that you've been wanting for a while. I'm also seeing it could be a reconciliation energy just because we do have the seven of coins beneath that here and the ace of coins. So I feel like this is, it could be about travel. It could be about work. It could be about um, meeting new people. It just kind of feels like there's something that you want or there's something that you desire. And I'm getting that there is, it's, it's on the right track here, but you have to be patient is what I'm seeing. So the focus for you this month might be 
some form of a coming together with, with either an individual in your life, we'll see, or just kind of, you know, maybe mingling type energy here or just putting yourself out there. I see a lot of positive here. We have the sun too. So let's go ahead and look at your earth energy. So again, this is going to be your kind of your career could be your material world, um, money, um, family, health, whatever has to do with the earth element here for cancer in the month of March. Earth element for cancer in the month of March. Okay, we have the two of cups. Interesting. And we have the seven of wands here with the five of swords and the moon beneath that. Hmm. So for some of you, there might be a little bit of a defensive energy going on when it comes to a um, maybe a home environment relationship. This could be, you know, like a marriage, for example, or this could be something that you live with for some of you or family members because it's coming through in this section of your life here. And I'm seeing that we have the seven of wands, the five of swords and the moon here as well. So there might be something a little bit, a little bit, um, Difficult I feel in your energy when it comes to your again your home life or possibly your workplace or your work environment But it does kind of feel like a relationship with the two of cups showing here like this So we'll get some more clarity as we go along I'm seeing the six of cups too. So this could be somebody that you've known for a while This could be an energy around you that you've had attached to you. Let's look at your emotions this month cancer So when it comes to love and your emotions this month Cancer, when it comes to your love and your emotions this month. Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Okay, so some of you are going through a bit of a healing process this month when it comes to your emotions. Um, you could have gone through, possibly it could be connected to this here. You could have gone through a recent ending or a recent separation here or something that just didn't feel fulfilling to you. Um, and I'm definitely getting that you're going to be focusing on healing this month. You're going to be really focusing on trying to heal your heart possibly from some rejection for some of you um, or you just feel kind of like you're not getting your needs met when it comes to your relationship is what I'm seeing here so that could be connected to why we have the moon and the two of and the five of swords here is that there could be something connected to why you feel that there's a relationship existing around you maybe or with your family that you may not be feeling emotionally very content with here ten of swords Let's look at your communication, so air energy. So anybody that could be communicating to you this month, any dealing with other people this month, cancer with communication this month, or air. We have the devil and the empress. Interesting. This came through in the same section for Taurus, I believe it was. So... I am seeing here, and remember, this could be vice versa for some of you, especially if you're very attached to somebody or if this is about love, it could be vice versa. But when I have the Empress here, and I'm also seeing the Two of Cups for the home kind of sector here, or the, you know, this environment, I feel like there might be a communication around you that is definitely not the best energy with the devil here. Uh, so this with the Empress here could be somebody very overbearing. It could even be a mother figure. It could be something that you're trying to heal from or mend yourself here from. But I do get the sense that there is definitely something with communication this month that could be testing you or trying to get under your skin. Let's look at your fire suit here. So where are you going this month, Cancer? So what actions might you be taking in your life or where are you going this month, Cancer? We have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands here. I feel like a lot of you have been trying to walk away from something for a while. A lot of you have been trying to walk away from something or somebody has been trying to walk away from something here. And I feel like there is an energy of being very defensive or not being able to let something go here entirely. Um, and And... Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of you wanting to do something, like you want to move on or you want to do something, but I feel like you're still in the healing process, and I also feel like there could be something attached here with the devil that could be keeping you kind of kind of stuck or trying to keep you stuck here is what I'm seeing. Let's look at your spiritual energy this month. Spiritual energy for cancer this month in March.
We have the Fool with the High Priestess beneath that, the Queen of Swords beneath that, and the Nine of Coins. Yeah, I feel like you're being supported here when it comes to taking some form of a maybe a, a different direction here when it comes to an environment here that you could be around. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. Let's look at this Two of Cups for your your um, earth energy. So again, this could be a work environment, work relationship. This could be family. What is the Two of Cups here for for Cancer and the earth element here? Cancer and the earth element for Cancer in the month of March. Yeah, there's something about like a hidden loyalty here. We have the moon and the dog. So when I saw that moon before from the tarot and the five of swords, and I'm seeing the devil here in the communication position and the four of swords, it does feel a little bit difficult. I feel like some of you have been dealing with definitely some form of a toxic family member or perhaps somebody that you're in a relationship has been dealing with this, okay? But I feel like this is about um, something that is hidden or something that is not revealed completely here. So this might be something that you are needing to keep secret for some reason, or there might be something about this Two of Cups relationship around you that is definitely connected more to family is what I'm seeing here. So a lot of you have some form of a tie to family or a relationship that's, that's connected to your family somehow. And I feel like there's... Um, yeah, see the moon here again. So we have the moon twice, and I feel like there's something about it that's kind of secretive, though. Or there's there's a lot of depth to it here. I'm seeing the justice card, too. So this could even be like a legal situation or like a family, some form of an entanglement here. And I do think that with the, yeah, with the king of swords here, too. So this could be like a harsh character that's around you. I feel like with the devil here, somebody could be trying to communicate with you this month. And this could be connected here where this person is trying to maybe kind of, again, get under your skin. I feel like there's definitely some deceptive, unjust situations going on here. Um, and this could even be like a legal battle, things like that. And somebody could be trying to mess with you. This could even be an ex-partner for some of you because I'm seeing the Four of Swords here. So it's like you're trying to heal from something. What is this here for for Cancer and the Earth element with the loyalty and the Moon and the Two of Cups? Yeah, we have the Five of Wands here. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This feels very resistant. This feels like something that definitely has other people involved with the Five of Wands. And with the Four of Pentacles, it's like there's a held on to or held back energy here. So there's something about this that I feel somebody's either not letting you go or some of you are not letting somebody else go here. There could be a younger Earth sign involved in this. What is the moon here? What is secretive about this though for Cancer? What is this moon here for? Yeah, I was going to say there could be something about like a... I have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. So that's where I feel that there could be something about wanting to get away from this or something about wanting to break free from this here. So some of you could be wanting to break free from like maybe an unhealthy or unfulfilling relationship of yours that's connected somehow to family there could be a lot of complicated energies around this here that's keeping you stuck or feeling stuck because i'm getting that with this eight of swords you you may want to take action this month or you may want to do something but there is something that's trying to to, to prevent you from doing that this is kind of similar to gemini's energy and i feel like some of you as well if you're dealing with a love interest they could kind of have some form of a desire to secretly move forward to you but there's something that's being attached of a loyal connection or loyal family situation that's keeping them stuck why do we have the four of swords here for cancer in your love life cancer love life emotions this month with the four of swords where are you going to be at, Cancer, with your love life and your emotions this month? It 
Again, we have the tree here. We have the man and the mountain. I do feel like there's a man involved here that either is the one who's healing from something or if you're waiting for a man. Because I feel like there's a mountain here. There's an obstacle. So see how this man is holding a rose and then there's an obstacle here and then the four of swords is here. There's actually a man here too who's resting. And then we have the tree here. So I feel like there's definitely an energy of being... Um, this is actually the Seven of Cups, too. I feel like there's a desire to do something. I feel like this could be somebody who's connected to you, especially if you're a female um, or just a feminine energy. I feel like there's something connected here where this person wants to maybe make a step forward here. But there's a there's a there's a attachment here with this Two of Cups and the Loyal and the Moon. There's also something to do with um, keeping keeping a plan hidden from you. Not in a deceptive way, I think, but we'll see what this devil's about. But So yeah, for your emotions this month or for your love life, I feel there's an obstacle in your love life that is connected to a man who is wanting to offer something to you or you're wanting to offer something to a man. But there's a resting before this happens because there's already been like a missed chance with something or a missed opportunity here. Going on for Cancer's love life or emotions in the month of March. Yeah, I feel like with the strength here, there's already been Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. There's already been a lot of sadness with your love life here, but I feel like somebody's trying to be strong. I feel like it's either you that's trying to be strong and maybe even have to reject something, or this person that you're attached to is trying to be strong and trying to hold themselves back here, or they're trying to to there's a lot of stress here. So this person is trying to hold themselves back from you or you're trying to hold yourselves back from somebody because there's an obstacle here. Cancer's love life in the month of March. Cancer's love life in the month of March. Yeah, two of pentacles and the five of swords. So this is a back and forth energy and there's something deceptive around it for sure. So whoever this is, I feel like there's an energy of um, being back and forth. There definitely could be multiple people involved. I'm seeing a situation where it's either you or somebody else that has another situation involved with a family situation, I feel. Um, and somebody wants to get away from this, but there's an energy of having to hold themselves back because something is still something is still trying to pry into a situation very similar to Gemini. So that's what I'm getting here. So this is there's going to be an energy this month where you're going to find yourself, I feel, having to just lay low and having to rest, having to heal from something because there was a deceptive energy around you, I feel, but I'm getting from for for most of you it's attached to somebody else though. But take it how it resonates. If you're the one who's involved in this, and you're kind of tied to somebody that's not that you don't want to be tied to. It's most likely if you live with this person, or if you actually have like a, a an established energy with this person here, you have to be loyal to this person with children or something like that. But it's really keeping you held back. Um, a lot of you want to either move towards a new person, or you just want to have a new beginning for yourself. But for most of you, I feel like there's some somebody who's attached to you that is that is wanting to come back in, or who's wanting to come come towards you. But there's a conflict around them. So what's going on with this devil here? Cancer. So communication that could be coming your way. Or communication with other people here. We have the devil. Communications for cancer. Air energy. Yeah, we have the snake here. So we have the snake and the devil. Definitely a deceptive combination to get. Um, I'm seeing the woman here. The rider. And the compass. So there is a snake involved in this entire situation here. What was this ask with sincerity? I'm, I'm hearing a message for some of you that somebody, I think it could be this person here, may want to bring some news or truth to you, but there's something that 
they are attached to other than you, you know? So it's like something that they want to be honest about, but there's something that's holding them back because I feel there's something, again, with this snake and the woman that's like keeping something held back from your person coming forward to you for one group of you there. What do we have going on for cancer in communication this month? Dealing with other people. What is the snake and the devil about for cancer? Snake and the devil. But I mean, when, when I have the five of swords here too, and the devil and the snake, um, something definitely is going on here. We have the three of wands, the seven of coins, and the hermit. Okay, um, so this is definitely kind of a reevaluation expansion mode here. Seven of coins is something that I feel, we have two sevens actually, something that is not really moving is a thing because this is not really much movement and we have the hermit here. So I think that if this is you dealing with this, you are definitely going to be taking this time to yourself. You're going to be withdrawing from this. You are going to be taking the time to move away. I feel like a lot of you are planning something. So again, I feel like there's a planning energy around having a new beginning, but there's a sense of being trapped right now. Or somebody's feeling this way about you, if it's about love. But I do think that there's a snake involved with this here. What's going on with this devil's energy though? Nine of cups, ace of coins, and the nine of swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting that there's still, there's a, there's a wish fulfillment somewhere else. There's somebody who wants to take a wish somewhere else and they're thinking about how to plan this or how to do this. Because we have the writer here. I just noticed this too. The writer can be about a messenger as well. And since I have the, de this is the communication section. Um, for some of you, I feel that there's going to be a message either given to you or give it to somebody else, but there's something, yeah, there's confusion. Somebody's confused about whether to do this or not, and I feel like this could be because if this is about love, this person is obviously still attached to something else, okay, or you are receiving communication from somebody, but you don't know really what to do with it, or what to do about it, because it does feel... Because I'm not getting a clarifier on what this devil is. I feel like it's more about something that's preventing somebody from a new beginning. Or something that's preventing somebody from moving to where they want to go. And I think that this is stepping away from it in order to plan how to get from point A to point B. Because with the rider and the... Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, there's some opportunity that is either coming in for you that you're waiting on, or somebody's waiting to make this opportunity to you. But there's a there's a snake energy that's that's keeping things difficult. And of course it could be you moving away from the snake energy, but it kind of feels like this is something else, like attached to another person. So your actions, Cancer, in the month of March with the Eight of Swords, what actions are you taking in the month of March? Where are you going, Cancer? Ten of Wands and the King of Swords, again, in the cross position here. A lot of stress. I don't think that, because with the action position, the Ten of Wands with the Eight of Swords is no action taken at all. Somebody has not made a decision yet is what I'm seeing here. It could be you, but I'm going to say somebody because I feel like it could be about love. But with the seven of coins here and the three of wands, this is waiting. This is, I'm almost getting like 
somebody who's crouching in the corner, like, like waiting for something, not in a creepy way, <laughs> but I know it sounds creepy, but like in a way where there's some form of a, a pending truth. And I think that that's what the ask with sincerity could be about for some of you is that somebody wants to move into some form of a reconciliation energy, but they're, they're kind of planning their action. I would be cautious though, because I think that there's, regardless of this is, if this is about your person or somebody attached to them, there is something a little bit off about it because I feel that there's a back and forth energy with some deceptive dancing with the devil type energy here. What actions will you take, Cancer, in the month of... Yeah, so there's not going to be a decision made fully with the King of Swords here. And I'm not seeing you taking any action here. So I don't think that you... It's like, I don't think that this is the right time for you to take action. Or I don't think that the other person that you're dealing with is going to take action. Any actions that you'll take, Cancer, in the month of March... Yeah, something's coming out. So we have the book and we have the sum. So because this is what I feel, I feel like there's something that's like, this could be like a legal situation for some of you. I don't know why I'm getting like, like a cat that's ready to pounce, but but not in like the, in that kind of way. It's like more of like preparing for something. And I feel like there's something that is, is waiting because something is going to be exposed. And, and, and I don't know. It's like you could be waiting for some final clarity about something in order to go off onto your own path. Like, for example, you're waiting for a court case to resolve so that you can, um, you know, I don't know, move away or do something, something different. Or you could be or somebody could be waiting for this to approach you. Because I feel like there's a heavy situation. Yeah, the, the moving is trying to come through. It doesn't have to be moving, but like moving from one place to another is trying to come in. But there's something that's been tying it down. So I think that this month for you, Cancer, is going to be more about... Um, waiting for the right time for your approach to something or waiting for the right time to have a new beginning because something is still playing out is what I see so with your spiritual energy yeah queen of swords high priestess this is a lot of power here with the with the queen of swords and high priestess it's like you're silently holding a lot of power here um the fool and the nine of pentacles again I feel like somebody's trying to break free to be independent from something so you really might want to kind of break free from something and gain your independence you could be waiting for the right time to do this or waiting for the right time to communicate this here or you're waiting on this person spiritual energy for cancer yep the stork and the star something very divine is coming into alignment for you here so the stork is all about change transformation and the star is six of cups your, it could even be your, your fame, your fortune. It could be your destiny. So this is something destined to happen, but it's like, again, it's like the, the, the cat is not prepared. I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see a couple more energies for you from the Oracle. messages do we have for cancer what messages messages do we have for cancer in March anything else for cancer in March yes live your soul not a role so I love that card because there is something going on here that's not really your true authentic soul because something is trying to interfere with your authentic purpose here. So this here is where you're supposed to be, okay, or where somebody is supposed to be. And there's something that's keeping it hidden, or not hidden, but keeping it from, from happening. Embrace your power. Do what you love and be of service. 
Yeah, do what you love. So this is, um, for some of you, this could be about your, like I said with the star, it could be about your career, it could be about your, 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 where you're going, like your, your, your purpose here, take the lead. And I feel like this could be about you even having a collaborative thing with another person when it comes to like a, a, a mutual life purpose or something. And I feel like, um, embrace your power, do what you love with live your soul, not a role. This is a really like a strong energy coming through about you, um, doing what you love, doing what's best for you. Because I feel like whoever this is that's tied into something is tied into something because of some family pressure, because, because, because this is coming through in this section here or something that is not allowing you to grow to your full potential. And this is the book of hidden secrets that's going to come out into the open because there's some pressure that's kind of like it's under the pressure cooker. And I feel like this it's going to be revealed. And it's going to be kind of opening up to a lot of happiness here. So I feel like this with the theme for you is more about your dealing with other people this month because there's some people around you that I feel are not in your best interest from what I'm seeing. And that's why with live your live your soul, not a role. This is about you doing what what's what where you want to go regardless of what anybody says but you're waiting for the right time to do that so or somebody is waiting for the right time to come to you whichever really feels like it's for you because I feel like it could really go either way depending on if you're watching this for yourself if you're in an unhealthy place or unhealthy situation you're you're waiting for the right time I don't think this is the month to really make any grand gestures I feel like it's 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 still not the right time a lot of you could be dealing with the Taurus, I'm hearing. Cancer. Oh, that's way too many cards, but okay, let's take these. Yeah, I just saw this one, transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Yeah, you're going through some major transformation right now. I'm birthing a new age. I love it. So birthing a new age, the stork and the star. You're going towards your destiny. You're going towards your path. You're really going towards a place that's going to be very, very transformative for you. But once again, you're waiting for the right time to do this. And then we have play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Three of Cups. So I feel like you've been weighed down. A lot of you have been very pressured. A lot of you have been very... Um, tied down with something and I, and I, and I don't think that it's been making you feel good. And I think that this is going to be when you're going to be take, making those proper changes for yourself. But yeah, birth. I mean, it's really these three cards together here, birthing a new age, the stork and the star is divinely being put to where you need to be. It's a really good energy. So just be patient. Um, let things play out the way that they need to. Let things play out on uh, on their own path here because they are happening for the right reasons here is what I'm seeing. So I really hope that this reading could help you. I hope that this could give you guys some clarity. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, I'm not going to be having an extended, so it's just this version here today. Um, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Much love.